with the three ways to coping with the principal agent problem, ownership, incentive pay, and long-term contracts. Ownership, this is often given to managers because, um, well, it gives the managers an incentive to maximize the firm's profit. This is the goal of the owner's principal because the managers are now part of the owners or the principals. Because they are part owners, then they want their own business or the business that they uh, own a part of to do well. As simple as that, incentive pay it links the managers or workers pay to the firm's performance. Uh, this aligns the interests of the workers, managers, and owners. So, as I said in the last video, uh, mutual fund managers, their bonus is pretty much based on their, uh, the, their fund's performance. Now, long-term contracts. Uh, this can tie a manager's or worker's long-term rewards or the long or they can tie the manager's or worker's long-term rewards to the long-term performance of the firm and this arrangement uh, will encourage the worker the agents to work in the best uh, interests uh, best long-term interests of the principals and then we'll look at types of business organizations and We'll really talk about three types of business organizations, sole proprietorship, partnership, and corporation. Now, sole proprietorship. Sole proprietorship. This is the important part. Uh, it's pretty much a single owner with unlimited liability or legal responsibility for all debts incurred by the firm to the amount equal to the entire wealth of the owner. So this pretty much includes his personal belongings. The proprietor also makes management decisions and receives the firm's profit. So any profit that he the, the firm makes, he gets. And the profits are taxed at uh, taxed the same as the owner's other income. So all the income that the owner makes, they're all taxed uh, once. Now partnership, well the important part for partnership is that Instead of one owner, we have two or more owners with unlimited liability. The partners must agree on a management structure and how to divide up profits. And what the hell? Why the heck does this say structure? This is not a word. Forgive me for making uh, changes on the fly, but I'm a little OCD. So you just watch me do that. So partners must agree on the management structure and how to divide up profits. Profits from partnerships are taxed as the personal income of the owners. So pretty much the same as sole proprietorship except you have more than one person. Now corporation. A corporation can be owned by one or more stockholders with limited liabilities. This means that the owners are legally liable only for the initial value of their investment. So say that I took a thousand dollars and I invested it into McDonald's well if McDonald's turns up bad as a bad investment and fails the only amount I'll lose all I'll lose is that a thousand dollars that I initially invested into McDonald's my personal wealth uh, of the stockholders my personal wealth as a stockholder is not at risk if the firm goes bankrupt but the profits of the corporations are taxed twice so firstly the corporate tax on the firm's profit occurs, and secondly, the income tax paid by shareholders receiving their after-tax profits um, are distributed as, as dividend. As dividend, so so when you're a corporation, your tax there's a corporate tax and an income tax, and the income tax is paid by you. The corporate tax is paid by the firm. And that's it about corporation. I think I have something important to say, but just temporarily left my mind. So we'll just go on. So, oh yeah. So if you're, if you have a TFSA or yeah, tax-free savings account, then this will be pretty good use of your tax-free savings account. Pros and cons of different types of firms. So each type of organization has its pros and cons. Now, a sole proprietorship, the pros are it's easy to set up. It's sim there's simple managerial decision making because it's only you making the big decisions and the profits are taxed only once as your own income. Now the cons is that the bad decisions made by the managers or you if you're the owner is not always 
are not always reviewed, so you can make a decision and it turns out bad, but someone could have caught it if you just had someone to look at it. And the owner's wealth is entirely at stake. The firm dies with the owner and the cost of capital and labor can be high. Partnership, again, easy to set up, diversified decision-making process because you have partners that you have to make decisions with and it can survive the withdrawal of a partner. So if a partner suddenly gets up and hits the road, then it will still probably be able to operate uh, with, the, with the remaining owners and profits are taxed once. The cons is that achieving consensus about decisions is difficult and time consuming. I, ne I don't know if you guys ever worked in a group, but if you worked in a big group, I'm pretty sure you had arguments because everybody had their own point of views and achieving consensus, uh, a decision was hard to, hard to achieve. And the owner's entire wealth is at stake. The capital is expensive relative to a corporation and a partner withdrawal can create a capital shortage. Corporations, uh, owners have limited liability, large scale, low cost capital is available, professional management, not limited by the ability of the owners, uh, and perpetual life. Uh, this means that even if the, the owner dies, then it still keeps going because, well, if a stockholder dies, then it's just one stockholder, right? Instead of many other stockholders. Uh, long term uh, labor contracts. Uh, cut labor costs and there's a the cons are this complex ma complex management structure this makes ma uh, making decisions slow and expensive so I don't know if you guys have ever watched the movie margin call it's a really great movie and you guys should watch it uh, so in that movie we had this um, this low-level trader and he found out that the company was actually doing really really bad uh, I think they were leveraged really high and they went through a lot of levels until they finally uh, got to the CEO which held a big meeting it was a great movie you guys should watch it it's awesome um, yeah but other than that profits are taxed twice uh, the company profit and yeah what the heck does that say profits tax twice yeah profits tax twice once as company profit and the second as stockholders income <laughs> now markets and nature of competition so there are four market types here perfect competition monopolistic competition uh, oligopoly and monopoly and we will talk about these in the next uh, video please rate comment subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys next time